Hello, hello, hello. Anyone who's uh, watching, my view count isn't updating right now, but uh, if you're here, welcome to my first attempt at a Dark Souls stream. Ah, uh, there we go. Seems to be pulling up. couple adjustments on my end real quick. Okay. It's getting a bit of an audio echo here. Not from myself, but from the game. I'm just going to get into it and see if the echo's bad and adjust from there if need be. If anyone's watching, let me know if you're getting an echo and I can make that a little bit more of a priority. I think it's just the game sound playing twice in my head sent. Um, so this is a not a new playthrough for me. I've played through this game a couple times in the past. Not very good, and it's been probably four years since I've played. Maybe even longer. Um, so we are taking this as it goes and we're just going to kind of see see how it goes also found the echo brilliant me was not in fact the game but the fact that i could hear my phone which had the volume turned on i have one monitor so uh, chat's on my phone you should have alerts being able to hear and everything like that um apologies if my camera cuts everything off i tried to put my camera in a spot where it would, it would be good for this game in general but it does look like on the Very slim. I'm not very slim, just like how that looks. 
you that today. Um, just because I just want to do the deepest of the dark purple colors. It's best color. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and was fire came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragon. Wind's mighty gods grew the hard western skins. Witches wooed great firestorms. Muto unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath, the scales, betrayed his own. And the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. Now, this is just the opening uh, cutscene right now, and I would say, yeah, this game definitely has Lord of the Rings vibes. I think that's what originally kind of actually drew me to it. This is probably uh, one of my favorite game series of all times. Um, yeah, I'm doing good. I'm really excited to be streaming. This is my first stream. Um, and for anyone who's not Noctis, Noctis is probably the reason I'm streaming today, so shout out to him. I don't have a shadow command. But yes, indeed. If you're watching and not following Noctis, the dark I do highly sign recommend brands the undead. Follow his contents all the screen. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led. I might have just broken my game, paused it for a second. To await the end of the world. Is that any better? I can 
can try to do some balancing here in a second. This is your fate. That is better? Okay. Yeah, I had both all the way up, which is probably a mistake in hindsight, but in first stream, we're learning. mic on this headset's also a little bit finicky sometimes, where if I don't have it angled perfectly, it just doesn't like to catch my voice very well. Um, but it's what I got. Making do with what I got. Okay. So this is going to be, again, um, yeah, I'm using a Steam controller. Oh, and my mouse has decided that it wants to be connected too. Just won't touch that. You know, so I'm using a Steam controller. I don't recommend it for this game. Uh, it's the only controller I had at the moment. Um, cause apparently I left all of my, my good Xbox controllers and PlayStation controllers at home. So we got just the good old little Steam controller here. It's, it's It works. It's, it's much better. I actually really like this controller for strategy games and anything kind of top-down. But uh, for any kind of RPGs, the camera control can be a bit sluggish. So we might be doing a, a little bit of balancing in this first stream as far as camera sensitivity goes. Now, if I can remember where they put that setting. Audio better though, not this. I tried using one with Half Life 2. Yeah, I, I I wouldn't recommend it for Half Life 2. Um, when I first got the controller, the very first thing I did was like locked it in for a Skyrim, and that's when I realized I'm like uh, that it just doesn't control well for. For anything. Oh yeah, and don't starve. Oh, I love don't starve. That's another game I can stream. No, I do use this for don't starve too. Um, you know, have you ever played a don't starve together, Noctis? that I can go back and watch sometime. Do they have VODs anywhere? Yeah. Uh, it, it most end, it, that tends to be where it ends for me, too. Winter, maybe spring. <laughs> Way before he streamed, yeah. No, uh, Don't Starve is actually the game don't Starve and Skyrim, those are the two games that got my wife into gaming. So I hold both in, in very high regard. We've played quite a bit of Don't Starve together. I don't think she's ever made it through winter. Um, but she loves that game. I don't know if I have them with me. I might have to find them sometime. I have the, um, the, the Don't Starve beanie, the winter hat, and a plush Weber and a plush Chester. some of the little bit of gaming merch that I actually own is from Don't Starve. Alright. Have you ever have you ever watched the, uh, Dark Souls before, Noctis? Watched or played?
one of the, the few things that Dark Souls is infamous for. This is considered a tutorial box. There are definitely ways to cheese him, but I am not going to do that today. Uh, we are going to come back to him. Yeah, I'm very rusty on this game. If it was, if I'd been playing a little bit more recently, I probably would have gone for a bit more of a. I uh, like actually tried to beat him on the first run through. I think we'll wait and do it the the good proper safe way. alcove there, they will walk and find you. Bloodborne's really good. Um, I've actually only ever played a little bit of it. I actually don't own Bloodborne. I own all the other Dark Souls games, but I just don't own Bloodborne. But it's... I love the, the Lovecrafty vibes of it. Also, I'm not sure how common this is for streaming, because this is my first stream. There's like a 30 second delay um, between the stream and real life on my end. I don't know if you guys, you guys probably aren't seeing any of that delay, but if I'm a little bit slow to respond or uh, that's kind of why there's a little bit of that delay for me. Yeah, to, to, to mobile. Um, so like by the time the stream comes through my phone, it's just like a 30 second delay. Uh, Cause again, don't I only have the one screen, so chat's on my phone. chat and um, also I just have it actually playing the, the live stream itself so that I can see what's going on with, with your guys' end. I couldn't get it set up to where I had the live stream view on my end. It's like I can't see my little camera in the corner. This, I hate this part. Okay. I remember the tutorial pretty well, so like if I seem like I know what I'm doing, that's only because I've done the tutorial a million times. Oh, yeah. Welcome to mobile. I might try to figure out you. something better in the future. You're no like if I can have a way to have a uh, chat up I'm on for my game three. screen while I'm playing, I'm trying to figure that out. But that's that's something I'll figure out for another day. Today I just wanted to stream. You and I, we're both problems or not, just get the first one out of the way. Out, oh, I entirely didn't listen to him. Regrettably, um, I have failed in my mission. <laughs> But Talking over him, kind of read what he was saying, but saying if you weren't paying attention to it, basically, undead, he's children. basically tasking you to finish the mission you fail. Normally I'll try not to talk over him, he kind of explains the whole entire storyline of Dark Souls again. It sounds like heart. you have a little bit of experience, oh, but for anyone say? who's never played Dark Souls before, here, this isn't Skyrim. This. You don't get nice little markers to and where you need to go. Flask. It's like there's and two I'm bells out there. It. Go ring them, have fun. That's your entire guide as far as Dark Souls oh, is considered. And this. Uh, no, I must be reason why I really like I this game the first when I first yeah. played it is I like that it doesn't, it doesn't okay. hold your hand. Well, thank you. It's, it's really a game about throwing yourself at the problem as many times as possible until you find out a solution. And that's kind of what I love about Dark Souls, is just that you're kind of expected to fail. And that's okay, because by failing you learn. And Dark Souls is a really good teacher of that. And 
that was him just passing away right there. You'll see my soul count go up a little bit in a second. Yep. There's a way to parry, isn't there? Okay, yeah, that's a parry. I'm gonna try parry. Is there anything before I go through there? to do its progress, and I've seen this in, in quite a few games, but it's you get to a, a point and it opens a passageway back to a common area. Um, I actually see it in a lot of, and I could totally be kind of talking, talking on my own butt here, but um, I think that this part is something I've seen a lot in, in Metroid games, in all honesty, where you kind of have checkpoints that lead back to a central area, but Dark Souls does have that. Well, I can. I'm gonna need to freshen up my party skills. Oh. Early. There we go. Parrying is. I don't know how appreciated it is by the community. I'm sure it's. Um, oh, there's my pyromancy flame. I'm sure it's really appreciated, but parrying is probably by far my favorite part of this game. There are just times when you get that well timed parry that are just. Always take a good first step. Let's go get my souls back now. Well, you're very friendly. You're gonna walk all the way down here. Well, you're just gonna keep going. Now you slowed down. You wanna come in here? Have a friendly tea party by the bonfire? Yeah, let's have a friendly tea party. Yeah. So not gonna be friendly?
get out of your system. Oh, oh that was a mistake. Oh. oh, mistakes, mistakes. I'm stuck. Okay. <sighs> I always try to save as much health as possible for when you fight the boss. That's kind of what Dark Souls does. It whittles you down. So by the time that you get to the boss, it's about doing what you can with what you got. Pick those back up. That was a very bad roll. And that also was a bad attack. Okay, first struggle point of the game is random guy with a sword. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay. I used to always tell my friends when I was playing this and I'd get stuck at these parts where I kept dying at something simple like that. I'm not dying, I'm just unintentionally farming souls. Come out, friend. Come here. Come on. Yeah, that's right. Where are you going? Like run past me like that before. Are you, you gonna be a little bit friendlier? Oh, both of us missed there at least. I'm trying to learn the moveset. Dark Souls is one of these games where. Oh, I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. It's one of these games where. Like, there is a certain degree of, like, meta metadata gathering, where it's like, this weapon's going to have the best... I'm probably using the wrong term when I say metadata gathering, but it's this weapon's going to have the best uh, the best stats. It's going to be able to be upgraded the best, or with your strength, you're going to get the most damage boost. But the other thing about Dark Souls is it is a game where it entirely almost doesn't matter what weapon you use. If you learn the rhythms, if you learn to be patient, you can, you can go this game unarmored, you can do this game with the broken sword that we can do it. It doesn't really matter. It's possible. Is it harder? Are certain things make it easier? Definitely. But this is really a game where it doesn't really matter what you wear, it doesn't really matter what you use. As long as you're determined and you can kind of get into the rhythm of the game, you can beat it with anything. Even, you know, I think I'm pretty sure someone said it with like the DK Bongo levels or a dance dance. against a big boy like this. So we are going to give us a good swap of fireballs. Like most bosses in Dark Souls, this guy is all about timing. Knowing his set and making sure to not get stuck. Right now I'm in a pretty bad position. And I'm going to de-lock him and just make a run like hell. Lock on game. Okay, so we get a second three messes. That's about it. Bit, he's probably one of the easier bosses. Um, one of the easier bosses to handle with, but he's always a pain that first time you get him. Particularly if you don't know that the first time you meet him, you can run past him. He can really be one of the toughest bosses in the game. Um, that being said, a little to steal a phrase from Noctis, pro gamer tip here. Um, if you do want to beat him, and you beat him on the first time you run into him without running past, he drops that giant hammer he's holding. And 
it's obviously only, it's not the best weapon in the game, it's, it's one of those weapons that's only really good for strength, but I know a lot of people who love to have it. And just to kind of show that they were able to beat him the first time. There's actually a way to make that significantly easier, almost cheese him a little bit. And it's by getting the black, the black firebomb starter item. I can't remember how many of them it gives you, but if you use those on him, um, it gives you just enough damage in that first little spot to really get his health down. Those black firebombs hit really hard. It's a really great way to kind of beat that boss um, you, that first time you, you run into it. Make sure that you get the hammer drop. Warm. Give me soft. The invisible birds. Um, you can usually you can come back later and trade with them. Just run off the edge. To kind of get some cool items, but as of right now, we don't have anything we can trade with them. So we are going to just go walk over to the cliff edge. Sorry if I'm looking around a bit jittery there. Let's look at used to the steam controller. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. Leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Still there, Noctis? Still watching? Lordra. That's okay. I was gonna say if you had to go anywhere, steal a little bit from him. If you do have to go, hope you enjoyed the stream and just remember life's more important. You know, I'm always here. Always can come back, you're always welcome back to the stream. Straight up steal that from him, but it's really good advice that he's always said on his streams. So I wanna kinda echo it. Alright. Let's see, we've got a decent amount of souls. Praise the sun. Most definitely praise the sun. Okay. Let's see. Level up. Don't want to level up. Two magic. I don't think I have anything to it. Yeah, I don't have anything to it. Can't kill the ball hollow. Ball hollow. I mean, don't think I can reverse the because I don't have uh, any humanity, so I'm saved up. The humanity is, again, Humanity is the number in the top left next to my health and stamina bar. The red and green bar. Uh, that's how much humanity you have. It changed in later Dark Souls games. Um, but, oh, there's humanity right there, speaking of it. But in this one, you have kind of two kinds. Uh, like crystallized hard humanity and liquid humanity. The crystallized humanity is any of this kind of stuff. It's stored in your inventory. You can't actively use it until it's consumed. And it's a kind of a great way to safely store it. The other one is the liquid humanity, which would be that number there. Slowly over time as you play and you kind of kill enemies, that number will slowly increase. And, um, or if you consume any of the hard humanity, the crystal humanity, it will bump that number up immediately. Which you can then use to do certain things like uh, kindle bonfires, restore humanity, etc. It's kind of important to have humanity in this game. If you ever want to do any of the, the, the multiplayer aspects Dark Souls has, uh, particularly any kind of summoning, you need to be human. The kind of downside to that too, though, is if you're human, you kind of open up other people to invade you in the kind of game's PvP system. Um, I am not good at this game when it comes to PvP, so if I do get invaded, you're probably going to watch me get wrecked very quickly. Um, that's okay. Oh yeah, you can 
can also, again, that's kind of what I was talking about. You can spend a humanity to kindle a bonfire. Just make it a little bit better. I believe it restores more essence. I can't remember exactly what it does. Oh, I can't kindle further further right now. Oh, that's embarrassing. Um. Yeah, but that's kind of an important aspect of the game. It's kindling your bonfires to make sure that they're strong enough. I believe it affects the max number of Estus flasks. Kind of the bottom item there you can see was Estus flask, which is your, your one kind of main healing item in the game. So it's important to kindle to make sure that you have as many Estus flasks as is possible for you at that time. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the Undead, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are, actually, two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Again, I might not always be the best at it. Uh, whenever NPCs are talking in this game or there's cutscenes playing, I will try to be quiet. I'm kind of listening and watching. I've played it before, though, so like, I'm kind of a little familiar with what they've said. But I want you guys to be able to kind of understand what the NPCs are saying and uh, kind of to, to get a chance to hear. What? You want to hear more? Oh, that's all we need. Another inquisitive soul. Well, listen carefully, then. One of the bells is up above in the undead church, but the lift is broken. You have to climb the stairs up the ruins and access the undead burrow through the waterway. The other bell is back down below the undead burg, within the plague-infested blight town. But I die again before I step foot in that cesspool. <laughs> Bloody hell, what is it now? You ask too many questions. Never ask too many questions. This guy's just a little bit of a jerk. He's, he's, he's having a bad day, so we can forgive him for that. Mm -hmm. What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. I'm trying to remember if he has, like, anything for exhausting mm -hmm. his dialogue. What no. now? <laughs> I'm not up for... Outside of your level. Intense, heavier, I'm trying to think of the word here. Uh, stronger enemies, kind of stuff like that. There are certain places where like, you need a key to pass. Um, so, generally speaking, I will be following, at least as far as I know, the easiest route through the game. Just to kind of avoid getting shoehorned too much. I can hear something. Oh, well, I think it's the raven. The, yep, there's the raven. Big old bird from the earlier cutscene who brings you over here from the Undead Asylum. This is also a game, uh, for those of you who aren't too familiar with it, the lore in this game isn't worn on its sleeves like other games. You're not going to get a bit of a... Um, it's not going to be like some old man telling you the story of it. Whatever lore you do get from this game is mostly kind of pulled together from item descriptions. So they have any that kind of really kind of amplify that. Uh, how do I toggle within the menus? There it is. 
Yeah, here we go. So you can kind of see, like a lot of them are, are some descriptions here, very kind of simple, but this is actually where a lot of the lore kind of comes from, for like the pyromancy flame. Flame museum, medium used by great swamp pyromancers. Pyromancers rouse this flame to produce various fire arts. It's mostly disruptive, kind of descriptive, but there's a little bit of lore there. And there's other items, which I don't know if I have any. Oh, wrong button. That one. Um, this, this has a little bit more of, again, gameplay, but there's a little bit of lore. I don't think I have any... Yeah, I don't think I have any items right now that really have deep descriptions on them. That's actually where a lot of this lore comes from. So if there's ever any items that you want me to read the lore on, just let me know in the chat, and I will gladly kind of pause and take a second to read those when it's safe. Once I've kind of figured out and gotten to a point like where I might have points and stuff, I might make it like a little bit of one of those little point rewards, like a cheap one, because I don't want it to be something that feels like it's locked behind stuff. Um, but, you know, keep the sake of the flow of streams. I get a lot of questions, but... Again, it's my first stream, so... Learning here. Any any feedback and suggestions is always appreciated. Good or bad, hit me with it. Okay. Debating about heading off this way to try to kind of get some of the items that are over here. This isn't the... I made the mistake of consuming an extra humanity because I forgot I thought I could kindle fires now, which I can't yet. Um, so yeah, no, no, no. I don't. I don't want to deal with the skeletons. I don't want to deal with the skeletons. That's kind of what I'm talking about. Like you can go that way, but I don't necessarily want to go that way. And it's not like the the way the game necessarily intends for you to go right off the get go. Although I think most people I know that play do. I just always struggle with the skeletons for some reason. Oh, this game does have... Oh, they're following. Is the other one following still? Uh-oh, what happened? Very much the wrong button. Okay. I'm going to rest with the bonfire to kind of just do a little bit of a reset there. Oh, you might see these little silhouettes from time to time. These are actually other players. Um, if you ever do see those, those are. Or the bloodstains on the ground, like I was looking at when that skeleton so brutally attacked me. Uh, they are spots where another player has died. And if you kind of click on the spot, you'll kind of see their, the last few seconds of the silhouette of their character um, before it died. It's a really great way to kind of be aware of potential traps or kind of get a little bit of a heads up on what's going in the world around you. All right, well, let's worry about leveling up. So, the nice thing is, is you can kind of experiment around it. When you raise the stat, you see what exactly it affects on these other two screens. The problem is, is while with a lot of builds, it's fairly simple. Like, you know, if you're going to be going with big, heavy weapon strength, bow and arrow deck is pretty standard, what you'd expect from any kind of RPG. Also, if you see me talking and looking down over here, my phone with the chat's over here, so I'm looking at the chat. That's why I look off this way. I'll try to look at the camera from time to time, because I know I'm actually being recorded. Um, but like a lot of a lot of games, it's a little bit kind of strange. Pyromancy is a bit unique in that it doesn't directly benefit from either intelligence or faith, which are the two main casting skills. Pyromancy scales independently uh, by improving your pyromancy flame. I could be wrong on that. Again, I haven't. It's been a long time since I played this game. Um, but that's kind of generally what it is kind of see, like attunements useful for pyromancy because it gets you more attunement slots which are how many spell slots you have but i already have two and only one spell you don't actually level up pyromancy for a while it's one of those things where it's really strong at first and it kind of starts to taper off 
uh, kind of as you get into the game until you actually find the Pyromancer Trainer later on. But generally, I think it is one of the better skills in the game. It was a little bit... Um, honest, to be honest, in this game, probably a little bit not the best balance, I find. But it's still a really good game. I love Dark Souls 1. I know most people have um, kind of the opinion that Dark Souls 1 is the best game. I, I disagree a little bit. I'm a little partial to Dark Souls 2 myself. Um, that's mostly because that was my first game in the series, so nostalgia bias, but... I do plan to play through all of them. So kind of, my, my plan with this stream is start with Dark Souls 1, play through it all the way to the end until the next game cycle, um, end there, play Dark Souls 2 all the way through to the next game cycle, and kind of play Dark Souls 3 after that, all the way through to the next game cycle. Um, with maybe some potential kind of go-backs or things like that, where if I, if I do get an, an eventual build I like, or there's a certain weapon I want, you might see me kind of do off shots. There's a lot of optional bosses or areas you aren't necessarily going to get to see in kind of a, a straight clean playthrough. And I might just kind of approach those intermittently. We'll kind of see how, how it comes to those. Um, but generally speaking, I'm just kind of here to, to kind, of, kind of enjoy it. I think what I'm going to do is to keep me a little bit rounded. I'm going to level up decks a little bit. Um, endurance. Explanations. Oh, that's the sort of one. Okay. HP. Equipment load. Yeah, this is the, this is the big one. So in this game, uh, you've probably heard a lot about needing to dodge roll. Um, if, you've, if you've ever heard anything about this game, endurance is really important for that because it determines how much armor you can wear before you start to get slowed down. So, I'm going to put a little bit in Endurance. I'm going to leave Strength and Dex the way they are. I do want to actually increase my weapons. Ah, do I wanna... Yeah, we're going to just put one extra in Dex. We're going to do that. Probably not the best, but that's what we're going with for right now. Try to keep it to kind of a quick minimum in the future. Or at least, like, when I'm taking a little bit of a break in chat, that's probably when I'll do it. Back, Trister. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. This guy's a bit of a jerk. Hello there. Um. I realize that I have requested that we retain our distance. But I also want you to know that it is not meant in ill will. Is there? Here, take this as a token of peace. No, go ahead. It's for you. I'll probably end up trading oh it to the birds because it's a shiny. You again. Oh, it's a later on I thing. know. I have to await my companions Sorry, here anyway. So what if I were to teach you some miracles? Would that please you? 
That is a shame. But each to their own. Speak to me if you have a change of heart. This is the guy, if you're playing as like the, the kind of cleric build oh, or any hello. of the ones that would have it? a little bit more use have to you the, changed the your holy mind? magics. Um, that is this a is shame. kind of the first trainer. But each to their own. I don't really care about learning them, so I'm just going to leave him be for now. Kind of continue on the way, just one last little kind of exploratory poke my head up here. I think we're kind of mimicking someone else, it looks like. I think they were just talking to Thorland and then just wandered their way up here. Those are always good. Oh, um, the souls, if you are also new to that. That's kind of like what I was talking about with the humanity earlier. Uh, they kind of come in a liquid form, that's that number at the bottom, and then a solid form, which is those that the Adam just picked up. The, the little white balls that are of varying degrees. Again, it's usually great to leave them in those until you actually need them. Just to make sure that they don't... Um, you don't lose them if you die. Because this is a game where you will die a lot. I'm sure there's people who've had perfect no-death playthroughs. I am most certainly not one of them. It probably won't be for a fairly long time. I think I can at least hold my own in some of these beginning areas. Deep drop. No. Also, the ragdoll physics of the bodies in this game are just by and large the best. I am going to go down to kind of pick those things up, uh, but for now we are going to head up here. There's a guy that's hiding just there he is. part of him off the edge. He's a fast boy. Okay. That way. Making sure that there aren't any enemies in between up here. I'll come, I'll come back to that. That is the way that we're going. There's just an item down here I want to grab first. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, you're probably the one I just picked off the edge. Never mind. Sometimes I'm a little bit delayed. Oh, are you? No, you've been here this whole time, probably. It's like, like a hitbox behind him where you can kind of get a backstab. I can't find him for the life of me today. Play around a little bit. Kick that off the edge. There's an item hidden over there called the Ring of Sacrifice. If I can remember how to jump, I might try to go for it. But how to jump is evading me right now. Is it... Okay, that's it. Expected success. So one of these sides easier to go around than the other. I swear there was an item over here. Yeah, there it is. The ring of sacrifice. A very useful item in the game. Uh, basically, when you die, it breaks rather than you losing all your souls. If I remember correctly. Also. To Dark Souls, you can immediately tell that this is a game that rewards the... It really rewards people who feel like they're breaking the game. Okay. I'm actually really amazed I pulled it off on the first try. I'm 
gonna call count that as first stream luck, because normally I am right off that edge every time. bypassed by an item called the Master Key. If you're a thief, you automatically get this item. If you um, aren't a thief, you can actually pick it up as your starter item. But I decided to get the Pendant, which is the starting item that does absolutely nothing. Or maybe does something? <clears throat> no one's found a use for it, and for years the developers kind of just... Um, like, you'd occasionally get this poke, like, oh, this is my favorite item in the game, to kind of keep people looking for it. I'd make a long story short, there, there's not really ever been a, a use or a point for it. I still hold out maybe they're just playing, playing with a thing that is a use for it, but, well, I don't think that's the case now. I'm gonna go this way that way. There's a shiny down there. I'm gonna go for the shiny. Oh, this might have been a mistake. Again, apologize for any kind of janky camera controls. This game was... Out of anything that this game was, it was certainly not optimized. Alive. That's what matters. Anytime you're still alive, you still got a chance to do better. Important things to remember. What's this say? Illusion. I don't think it is. Sometimes these are right. Other times, they're just to make you look like an idiot as you roll and smack a wall for an hour. I think this one's the latter. Is there anything this way? Oh, okay. Just wanted to make sure that I wasn't missing anything. Ah, steam controller. Just look forward. It's not that hard. Okay. I'm actually surprised that the Steam Controller is handling this as well as it is. I thought it was going to be a much more uh, of a pain in the butt than it is. Okay. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh -oh. Bad things. Bad things. Bad things. Bad things. fighting those guys so many times in the past. Every single time. It's like one of the first pain points I had never played this game. It was all of those stupid guys. And just time after time after time. Just getting killed. But we're still here. We're still alive. We're still going. We got this. We're back to where we started. One lightly loot heavy trip later. If there's anyone else in here. All the things. Just smash it down. Get all happy. Yes. Chaos and carnage. Exactly what I want. 
destroy all the boxes, smash all the things. That's not stairs I can go up. Okay. Anything else? Nope. Fog doors give me anxiety. Fog doors can be a path into a new area, just like right now. You know, if you haven't been here before, the fog doors can be you know, you're, you're entering a new area for the first time. They're also the boss doors. And I'm not a fan of boss doors. Because boss doors mean that there's a boss behind them. Oh, can I do that jump? I don't... Mm, I don't think it's possible. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember back to my... Back like four years ago. <laughs> no, you're okay, Noctis. You're okay. Happy to see you in chat. <laughs> hmm. Again, just still a phrase from you if you ever have to go. <laughs> That's because I do this when I'm not streaming. Um, yeah, but it's still a phrase from you. If you ever have to go, real life's more important. Go out, have a good day, and you're always welcome back. It's always my favorite part about your streams, Noctis, and I'm going to try to steal a little bit of that energy from you for mine. It's just a fun place to be. You're always welcome back. But you realize it's more important. You gotta do what you gotta do. Go out, enjoy life, and have a fun day. And nope, I did not make that jump. Okay, round two. I don't think this jump is possible. But I'd be remiss to not try a couple times and look like an idiot. It's always a chance to look for foolish, you might as well try. Okay. I don't think that jump's possible. I'm gonna give it a, probably just two more good tries, solid five tries total. I believe you get on up onto the roof and jump, like at a later point. I could be wrong. Yeah, that jump's not possible. It drops you too fast. I said five though. One last try, just so, and on a good number. Yeah. Okay. Did I read this one already? Left. Thank you. I never would have guessed to go left at this corner. I've been stuck there for hours. Oh, yes. Dragon. Always, that was the first time I played this game. That dragon just scared the ever-living daylights out of me. Okay, oh, arrow guy. Hi. Your ambush was a little bit premature there, buddy. You know, you do you. Whatever makes you feel good. Probably could have timed that a little bit better. You are... Gotta take a little bit of a hit. Take a little bit of a hit, but keep fighting, that's what matters. Let's get rid of the main crossbow man here. Okay, another Dark Souls thing if you've never played before. These are um, summon signs that allow you to summon players either for PvP or assistance. This one right here, which is nice and yellow, is the summon sign of a sun bro. The best people in this game praise the sun. We need more sun bros in this world, man. They are amazing. And I might take I might take the help of someone like that um, in the stream. We'll see. I usually try to save them for boss fights if I do struggle to get through this area. I like to leave them because, you know, there's one summon sign here if another player needs the help more. I like to let them get them. Uh, Dragon Remnants, I believe, are dueling. Basically, if, if I want to have a little bit of an honorable duel, style PvP. We can summon him, we can have a nice little fight, and and leave his friends at the end of the day. Okay. There are some items down over there, but just to make sure if I die I don't end up getting sent all the way back to the beginning, I am going to rest at this bonfire first. Oh, also, if I do ever talk too fast in the chat, please just let me know. I am a fast talker. I try to slow down my cadence when I'm gaming and talking to people, but 
I'm a fast talker. I know it. Uh, what do we do? I'm gonna put another little point in strength. I think, I think what we're gonna go with this character, build-wise, and I'm not 100% sold on this yet, but I'm mostly starting to commit myself that way, is an axe and pyromancy and shield guy. Particularly, I want to get to the point where I can one hand halberd-like weapons. Um, just so that I have both that reach and that kind of heavy hit, a good halfway point. And I'll probably go a little bit lighter on the armor, um, to be entirely honest, just so that I can kind of maintain a good dodge rule. I kind of keep reach as an option. I kind of find that halberd's the best way to do that. And kind of keep pyromancy flames as the... Again, they're, they're a little, I think they're a little bit overpowered in this game, and I'm going to fully take advantage of that. Item ahead. Yes, there is, and I will grab it in a second. I'm gonna take care of any guy who can sneak up on me first. The last thing that I need is someone sneaking up on me. Oh, you can flip around quicker than I remember. Is your back? There it is. I found the sweet spot. So backstabs or parries do like an extra good bit amount of damage in this game. So if you're ever watching like people who actually know how to PvP play this, it's basically two people spinning in a circle until one of them backstabs the other. Oh, it's the wooden shield. Oh, is this the one that I, I think this is the one that I like? Is it safe? Okay, they're just staying over there. Wrong button. Wrong button is going to be a common phrase used by me. You've been warned now. Uh, in, here's what I'm looking at. Okay, wooden shield. Uh, toggle display. Okay. So durability, weight goes up by 0.5. I don't think 0.5 weight is enough of a difference. <sighs> Better everything except magic. I think I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna go with it. What's my weight at? Somewhere on here, I should say my weight. Ah, oh, here we go. Equipment load. 10 out of 52. It's like, what, 20%? Roughly? A little, little more than 20% weight? I don't, I can't remember what the, the brackets are for dodge rolling. It still feels good. We'll see what it is. Be wary of back jester. Oh, back back jester. Oh, that was actually a clever warning. I'll take that. Try kicking. Yes. Oh, those are both good advice points. I will take it. Uh, these guys. The reason it says try kicking is uh, it breaks the shield defense. That's why you saw that bit of advice there. It's very valid advice. We can come in here and. Open them up for attack. So that's why I said try kicking. Um, I'm actually going to be entirely honest. I don't think I've ever done that before. Normally, when I'm fighting these guys, you see, they kind of move slow. So just kind of wait for them to, to get close to me and then just kind of run around back. They're not a very fast moving guy, so it was pretty easy to get that backstab on them. Anything with a spear in this game, generally speaking, you see, like, these guys are pretty. I can, like, sit right here, and he doesn't do anything. He, he wants to get a good angle on me. So we can just sit here and kind of dance all day. But because of that, kicking is actually a fit. That's kind of what he's waiting for. Just to kind of see when you get that opening there. But kicking bypasses that. And I don't think I don't drink an Estus Flask. Don't you do that. I didn't drink an Estus Flask. You didn't do that. Praise the sun. Yes. Always. Always love to praise the sun. Do I have do I have the shop yet? Can I can I throw down messages? Don't put that there. Vanish, return home. Manage dark sun. I don't have chalk. We won't be doing any other praising the sun. Fortunately. We'll get that up. That's our current goal. Get chalk so we can praise the sun. Now with his 
not so clever ambush. It's it's a good ambush. I shouldn't I shouldn't you know, I shouldn't make fun of him like that. He didn't he didn't pick an ambush spot. And it did get me the first couple times, so just because I know about it doesn't make it a bad hiding spot, I should be be wary of enemy. Perfect, thank you. I'm always letting the, the be wary of enemy sign put behind where the enemy is. And we have our merchant! Try charging. <laughs> oh, so, I love this merchant right here. He, he's well got some now, good stuff. First you seem to have your wits the about you. Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> He's got that laugh. Um, he actually has, if you kill him, he drops one of the, the few good two-handed curved blades in the game. That's another common build you'll see me do. I'm not doing it on this character, but I do a lot of the, the great curved swords. In Dark Souls 2, that's probably what I'll go with when I do get to that game. Which will probably be a good fair bit. But as you can see, Furch Mer Merchant, there's the soapstone. 100 souls. We are buying that. It's got fire bombs, repair powder. I don't think I really need repair powder yet. I'm not really using fire knives and I'm a pyromancer, so those are kind of useless for me. The Lloyd's Talisman is a underappreciated item in this game. I'm going to buy one because they're a bit expensive. That's something that not a lot necessarily a lot of people know. I believe it's Lloyd's Talisman. I might... It's one of the talismans, I believe it's Lloyd's, can actually be used if you throw it at a mimic. It causes the mimic to wake up and kind of to kind of go slouch and kind of allows a little bit. Uh, it allows you to loot the chest without the mimic attacking you. It's not a commonly known thing, or it's probably a commonly known thing. Um, it's something that I didn't learn for a while. So there's a spear. Do I go with a spear and spear and shield it for now until I can get a halberd? That's a question. Or do I keep with the axe? I'm gonna keep with the axe for now. I'm gonna keep with the axe for now. Don't use any kind of bolts, and I don't think the chain is, is really better than what I have. Is there a way to compare? I don't think there's a way to compare. Or either it's that or it's like Thank identical you to what I have. <laughs> Let's keep the swamp robes for now. We did get ourselves a Lloyd Talisman. Can't remember where the first mimic in this game is, so we might probably get to see a good old mimic kill on me at some point, but for now we'll just continue. This is a fun place. Still in the chat, Noctis, or have you already headed off to work? Oh, yeah! Hey, look! There it is! The jump I tried so many times. I knew there was a way to get over there. <laughs> okay, lurking but here. Well, that's always welcome. Oh, that was embarrassingly bad. Oh gosh, I'm, I don't know if I can recover. Tiger King, I'm not ever gonna financially recover. Oh. Here. Oh. And I did it! I recovered! Maybe. I'll count that as a recovery at least. Okay. Is anyone over here? Yeah, let's grab some extra souls. We're just chilling.
dragon doesn't come a second time, so it's safe to kind of just run past here. And we're going to do the embarrassing walk of shame to attempt that jump for a second time. And if you're new to Dark Souls, resting at bonfires resets all the enemies, so... If you ever fail a jump like this, don't rest at the bonfire, just keep going. Unless you want to have to fight everything a second time. Which, I mean, maybe you do. You do you. I'm not here to tell you how to play, I just tell you how I play. did I light up? Oh, was that... was that... am I being invaded? Um... I don't know what that was. I didn't see my souls go up. I don't like this. I hope I'm not being invaded. I'm garbage at this. I'm garbage at PvP. chilling up there on that ledge. Oh, now I'm on edge. Ah! don't like random noises in this game. Random noises are never a good thing in this game. I haven't used any of my pyromancies yet. If I am invaded, maybe I'll stand a chance. Depends. They have, they have like, level brackets when you're invaded. So I shouldn't end up, like, being invaded by someone who's just going to absolutely outpower me. I'm just not very good at PvP. There we go. That took way too many tries. Here? Yes, I am. I am here. I made the jump. The other one's gone. personally, but I am going to hold on to it because it can be useful situationally. I just did all of that for something I'm not going... Uh, I might use it down the road. I did have... There's walking. I don't know if you can hear that, but... Okay, it's not... I can still hear it faintly. I don't like that. I don't... Normally it says, like, you have been invaded, so I don't think I was invaded. I just saw something kind of light up at the bottom of my screen and heard a noise, and it's still making me paranoid. But we are going to take a nice little rest here. Probably level up again. Strength, just to keep that right weapon hitting hard. Uh, or do I want more? Yeah, I'm gonna do strength, because I like 15. 15's a good number. Welcome to Bad Decisions with Taylor. Uh, ta-da, Taylor. Both of my names, but ta-da. That's what I go by. Sometimes I just refer to myself as Taylor. I do both. Oh, can I kindle? Yes, okay, so this is what I was talking about. Um, if you notice, when I rested, I, I went from 7 to 7. It didn't fill back up to 10. It's because the bonfire has not been kindled. So now I'm going to use that humanity that I have been holding on to this whole time, that I accidentally used earlier, to kindle the fire, and now I'm back up to 10. And this is a good bonfire to do it with. This is actually a pretty central bonfire. You'll come back here for a couple different areas. So... It is one of the, the ones I recommend doing that with. Okay. Let's see, it's 9.40. Don't know how long I'm going to stream today. We're just going to kind of stream for a bit. Got all these guys back.
out of your system. You'll feel better. Let's get it all out. Yeah. Doesn't that feel better? Already auto locked onto him. I'm not going this way, but I am going to take out Mr. Ambushy here because I have had him sneak up on me in the past when I'm trying to cross the bridge. Sorry, fly. I saw that random swap there. Oh, you dropped something. Short, short. I'm not going to use it, but thank you for your contribution to the cause. Always appreciate a little bit of help. Oh, and I already already got another humanity. Killing enemies. That's always makes me nervous, because you can lose that liquid humanity if you die. I believe you do lose. I don't think you regain it with your could be wrong. It's been quite a few years since I played this game. This is one of those situations that if you're playing an archer character, you just snipe, snipe, and you're good. I, however, am not. So we are going to need to do a run across this bridge into a room full of enemies. And I think we are just going to give it a hot shot and see how it goes. We're going to just try to do a jump past the hall. Yeah, just get a good feeling what we got going in here. And we're actually going to do some fireball magic. Kind of cool down the numbers a little bit first. Sorry, I just had a quick test message. You need to make sure it wasn't too important. And it wasn't not, not important enough that it affects the stream. Um, that's, my wife that's, that's good. Well, I love my wife dearly. You probably hear me talk about her quite a bit on the stream. Um, for those of you who aren't aware, I, I'm, I know a couple of you have talked to me on Discord before, like Noctis, and I'm not sure what I've shared there. Um, I'm in Massachusetts, and I've recently moved here from Utah. So my wife and kids are still in Utah. So I'm a bit away from them. They'll probably want be in the viewer chat sometime when I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, so you hear me talking about that's why I'm, I'm referring to them. They are they are not currently not, not currently with them. Um, they are in Utah. So this random tidbit about my life. I share it quite a bit. I'm a pretty open individual. If you have questions about it, feel free to ask. Um, don't make it weird. If you make it weird, I will not respond. You have the master key. I believe you can open this one. You nope, know, it does not open from that side. You wouldn't have been able to open the master key. Or maybe you can, but it's from the other side. Here's another summon icon. People being helpful, throwing down the summon icons. Maybe I'll grab one of those at some point. Destroy all the furniture. So Dark Souls 101. You find a chest. You want to make sure it's not a mimic. The first thing to look for is bloodstains. If you see bloodstains around a chest, it's going to be a mimic. 90% of the time. That or there's an enemy nearby who likes to kill people. But as you can see, no bloodstains, no warning messages. This chest is probably safe. Um, there is also, I believe, a way to tell with the chain here on the side and the way that it curls curls like one way it's been big curls another it's not a different arts of the game that could just be folklore i've never checked from the chain i usually just check from if there's blood stains blood stains mean people have died there really good indicator that something at the very least is up so it's my two cents on it
got three friends here. Looks like only one. Are you going to come to play? Well, come here. Come give me a hug. Well, that doesn't look like a very nice hug. I button mash, by the way. So if you ever see like me swinging like three or four times after they're already dead, it's button mashing. I'll, I will admit it to it. Also, in Dark Souls, it's always better to land one unnecessary hit than to not. So while button mashing can be very dangerous in this game, it is isn't good to, at the very least, just don't think an enemy's dead because you think their health bar is going away. They could just have that one life, and one life for an enemy is more than enough to wreck them. Also, make sure you don't hit the wrong button and put your shield away. It's a really great way to get trashed by... Run in here. You gonna run right up here? Be a friend. Oh! Are you going to go down the ladder? You are gonna go down the ladder. Oh, that's just lovely. Are you, are you on the top? Did you drop down here? Firebombs! Yes! Oh, oh, I got new items. Let's check that real quick. <sighs> yep, yeah, I, I think I'm fine with that layout. Might change it later, uh, but for now it's fine. Let's leave our first message in the game. Right here. Right message. Raise the sun. Because there's a beautiful sun right there. Praise be. Anyway. Hello. Probably would have ambushed me somewhere. Raise the sun. Someone's already ahead of me. Yeah, you probably would have shot me right in the back going down to these two friends. <laughs> he, he was very bad at hugging. Sorry, I just didn't see your chat there. <laughs> Delayed response. My mind could see that you had been talking again, but it didn't realize it was gonna do this. Sorry about that. I'll we'll see if this guy's any better at hugging. Are you better at hugging? I mean, you got a little bit of a distance hug there, I guess. You, you move so slow. If, if you're going to just... Look. See, this is how you move fast with the shield. Back and forth. You had one more attack than I thought you did. My bad. I deserve that. Oh, that is not my Estus Flask. That might get removed from the hotbar pretty quickly. Okay. You wanna dance? See, I can walk sideways faster than they can turn. Just almost. So you can never quite get behind him from doing this. It's always worth the try. But as we remember that other guy's advice, try kicking. It works really well. Also, I believe, I think it's uh, Pyromancy Flames work pretty good. Depending on the shield. So the way shields work in this game is as like a percentage reduction. So at, at 100, it basically means it's going to block all damage of that type. And the metal shields usually have decent fire resistance. Estus in a fight. It's PvP, fair game, but if you're just a little monster guy, don't do it. It's rude. If 
we had a key, I can get this chest right here. But a long last, I don't have the key. Oh, do I go down there? Okay. So, there's an ambush that way, and there's, there's a guy this way. Who I don't think I'm going to be able to kill. It's a black knight. He drops a ring. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a message here, and I lost it. Yeah, if I go this way, he will knock me off the edge. That's a trap. Do I draw his attention and lure him back? Or do I just leave him alone? Sorry. Itching here. Okay. You see, these guys are just tricky. Like, they're just, they're not a boss. I wouldn't even call them a mini-boss. But they're good at what they do. One cheeky back. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope. These these people know how to hug really well. If we're gonna put it that way. They're fast. They're big. Warm and inviting. Like, wouldn't you want to hug from this nice guy? Big old safe hug. If I can hit the right buttons. Psych you out, sucker. Come on. Ah! Oh no. Miss this. Fireball. Get him, get it. Oh! Woo. Okay. I am absolutely thrilled that I beat him and used up all of my fireballs, which just means I'm going to die at the next boss. Let's go grab the item that was behind and get on with our life. Okay. Never deal with him again. He, he dropped a Titanite chunk. So Titanite chunk. Type. Oh, parrying. I forgot that I could do that. Yeah, I could have made that much fight much easier. Um. <sighs> Again, I'm not good at this game, but I'm not inexperienced. This is, this is like the game that really, um, I guess it was the first game that I really fell in love with. Don't know if that makes me sound young or not. Like, I've been playing, I, my first games I ever played were, were Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic 2, that was my favorite game as a kid. I loved it because my sister could be Tails and she thought she was contributing, but if you've ever played Sonic 2, you know... <laughs> tell, that, 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 that game was made with someone who had a younger sibling. Um, but yeah, just... This is, I always tell people, this, this game is not an RPG. It's not a fantasy game. It's a rhythm game. If, you're, if you've ever played this game, it's a rhythm game. I put it in the same genre as like Dance Dance Revolution and Guitar Hero. That's how it plays. And I know that might be an unpopular opinion. Uh, you can... Okay... You can say Nintendo's better than Sega. Like, you can say that. Um, it wouldn't necessarily be right. <laughs> but you can say it. Like, I, I, will, I personally will take Sonic over Mario Bros. any day. I get why people preferred Mario. I will say that the moment anything hit the third dimension... Sega fell off the face of the planet and we just pretend they don't exist with like maybe the exception of one game and, and I'll, have to, I'll have to concede Nintendo past that <laughs> but no 
know. My first console was a Sega Genesis, my second was a GameCube. So I, I do have a little bit of love for Nintendo. Oh, there's a bad guy there. Hi! I forgot that you reset. Does, does Nintendo own Sega? Oh, you gotta go. Don't heal! I've been over this. It's rude. I actually didn't know that. Does does Nintendo actually own Sega? Or are you saying own in the um like the the owning someone video gamer term? Oh, I got the tear stone right. I should have put that. It's the whole reason I went down there and fought that guy. So the Genesis, the Genesis was really good, and in, in all honesty, my genuine opinion is for the time period, Sega and Nintendo put out really two really good comparable consoles. They were both good. I've enjoyed both of them. Yeah, they they do. Yeah, they they nowadays they do. No, but like at the time period, both were really good. Genesis was amazing. Sega released the Dreamcast, and the Dreamcast really fell into a console. It's like the definition of being before its time. That console, like, they even tried to integrate, like, internet online play on the Sega Dreamcast. Like, it was so far ahead of its time period. And because they banked so much on it, and it didn't really take off, it really just kind of tanked the company. And you just don't really see a lot of anything from Sega past that day. Um... They did come out the Sonic Mega Collection. I do want to get that and probably stream it sometime just to get back the old memories. But yeah, my early gaming years were with Sonic, Sonic and Tails, uh, Sonic and Knuckles, Sonic Pinball. That was what I, I played with as a child. And Mortal Kombat. Uh, Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and 3. That was my childhood of gaming right there. But then after that, I got a GameCube. But I never got into Mario and Zelda. So I played a lot of Zelda. And I got really big into Zelda with um, Twilight Princess. That was kind of the, the first Zelda game I really, really got into. I played a little bit on the game, some of the games. Before then, and then I got into PC gaming. And that was kind of when I, like, I played... Like, for lack of a better word, I, I played Dark Souls for the first time. And it was, like, the first, um, kind of edgy, adultish feeling game I played. Because I could never play Call of Duty or anything like that. So when I played this game, it was just by and large, kind of like my awakening to what a video game could be. And kind of from there, I've, I've really explored around. I played Fallout games for the first time, Skyrim. Kind of really got into some of those those more things. But classic gaming-wise, I tend to think I, I prefer Sega over Nintendo. But that's just for nostalgia. That was a really long ramble, and I hit like 50 topics. I'm a rambler. I'm going to apologize for that right now. Oh! Again, I forgot that there's enemies here. You got me rambling, Noctis. <laughs> I really should have, like, leveled up or something. I am carrying a dangerous amount of souls right now. Not, like, for, like, a later game, but for, for this point of the game, I don't like carrying that many. There's one more, isn't there? Yeah. Oh! Cheeky bugger. Fire's my thing. Steal my thing. alive. Look at that. Now he's not. Another short sword. Another hollow warrior helm. I'll have to sell those. I think I can sell those. There's some way to deal with scrap in here. can't remember what. I know there's something. Oh! I got the crossbow. Yes! 
I remembered you. Ha! Praise the sun. Be wary of lying in ambush. That would have been much better to put down here, but thank you for the warning. Always appreciate a warning. You wanna dance? That was fast for you guys. Normally you're just like gonna slowly meander. Look at your friend there. He gets it. Gotta move out of the way for him. Just blocking the stairs, man. Stay to one side. If you're gonna be slow, stay to one side. It's common courtesy. Oh. Have you I got two humanity now. Don't put the pressure on me to not die like this. I'll just drink an essence because you're gonna take all day to walk over here. You okay, bud? You okay? You got something stuck on your foot there, bud. That was a little bit rude. You could help him up or something. You don't just drag him around. Got no manners these days. No manners. Sorry, I literally just did what I was giving you crap for. I'm a hypocrite. I'm sorry. Come here. Fine. Play it this way. If you're not gonna walk. You just have to get your shield out of the way. It, kick it already. Please don't make me have to run from this. There we go. Oh! That was close. Oh, you came right down those stairs. How can you always move fast when it's convenient for you, but never for me? Like, kick a flaming barrel, you're gonna run right after it. But when we're just sitting there, you're just gonna walk slowly up to me. Okay. What do we got here? Need tight spot. Try hope. There's a door. It's locked. I, I think it's here. It could be different. This leads down to... If, it's, if this is the door I'm thinking of, it leads down to a, a boss that is a bit tricky. I might, that might be Dark Souls 2. It's basically a ring that lets you... It, it lets you fast roll in heavy armor, and it is amazing. obviously, as mentioned, bolt speed is affected by what you're wearing in this game. Alright. Nice to meet you guys. Our first... What I would say. Oh, hey! Guy, okay. where'd he go? Sparkle Lizard, get the... Kill the Sparkle Lizard. Oh, this is embarrassing. Yeah. Got it, at least. Twinkling Titanite. Tight night. Titanite's used to upgrade and improve weapons a little bit. It's the materials. So, so souls are the coins, but you need the materials to do it still. Okay. Yeah, weakness, sniper spot. Okay. Yeah, so this is the, the first proper, proper boss, arguably, of Dark Souls. Um, at least... I, not not counting the tutorial demon, uh, whatever his name is. And there's a trick where you can basically just kind of snipe him out for a lot of his damage. But we're going to try this a little bit of a different way. Oh, I got so many souls. Are there any summon signs here? Any summon signs at all? This is when I would normally summon someone for help. But I think they've put all of those probably by the bonfire. That's okay. We are going to give this a try. <sighs> okay. Try not to trigger the boss fight. And climb up here. Because I believe there's a sniper hiding up here. Yep, oh, there's two of them little roll just to make sure they don't get me. The last thing I need is, is arrows in the back line by a boss. Oh, glad I blocked that. Both of those 
guys are down. Can you see him yet? I can't see him. Okay, one second. Again, use this message, sorry about that. Okay. I'm also doing this before work. So that's kind of being the cap point when I'll stop streaming. Probably should stop streaming now. I'm working from home right now, most days, so I can kind of go into the office when I need to, but uh, we're pushing it back a bit today. Just because I've been, been wanting to stream, figured i got to get the, the first stream out. If I keep pushing it off, it would never get there. There he is. There's our friend. The Taurus. Okay, this happens in Dark Souls. That's the point. That's the part of Dark Souls. That's why we enjoy this game. I enjoy it because it's mean. All my humanity is gone. I am now hollowed. And what I think I'm going to do, because I do want to beat him. He'll probably be the end cap of my stream, but I do want to beat him before work. I think what we're going to do is see if we've got any friendly sun bros lurking around this area. him, just so we can do it a little bit easier, and it looks like that's going to be a no. Oh, that's embarrassing. We're going to do a reset after this. Rule 101 of Dark Souls, if you have an embarrassing start like that, just go back to the bonfire. It's not worth wasting an essence right off the bat because you weren't paying attention. Come on, friend. Come here, friend. Yeah, come here. Sit around the bonfire for some food time. Ew, hi! Hard. Oh, you getting that out of your system? Do you feel better? You need a hug? Look, like you need a hug. You can be right there next to your buddy. We can have tea party together. Are you gonna stay there? You know, I think I'm just gonna leave him there. I'm gonna let him just chill there for a bit. Walk in here. Kind of try to get all of these guys in front of us. There we go. One at a time. Just one at a time. Uh, not enough to use an SS shacks yet. So when you when you die in Dark Souls, again, if, if you haven't played this game before, um, you lose all of your souls. Those souls aren't gone forever. You can recover them. But unlike real life, when you make a mistake, in real life you can try as many times as you want to kind of recover. There's no end point. You just keep going. Keep trying your best. Dark Souls gives you one. You got one try to try to recover all of those souls. And you know, if you lose them, even then it's not the end of the world. But... I had a lot of souls right there. I'd really rather not lose them. Now 
lot of stamina. bottom of the stairs. <clears throat> uh, that was bad. I was trying to kick. Didn't time the button presses right. Ended up not kicking. There we go. Bottom of the stairs party. Let's get a little bit closer to your friends. Yeah. No. I'll enjoy that nice little hug. Oh, you're coming down too! You didn't want to be left out, did you? There's plenty of room. Plenty of room in the cup party. There you go. There you go. Yeah, all of you can be there together. Death. Be wary of tough enemy. Probably just probably just a warning for the boss fight. Yeah, need tight spot. Oh. Oh, that was pro gamer move. Stairs. Need a need a head now. Clever. Okay. Sniper spot. Any any symbols? Any any friends hiding in here? Any friends today? We had some friends earlier, but it's like they've all gone. Okay. Best trick, the best advice I can give anyone who wants to play Dark Souls. Take it slow. Anyway. Take your time, explore. It's not a game meant to be rushed. Blacksmith, we're gonna be able to get some nice gear. Real nice gear. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do armor wise, but I do really want the halberd. I don't know if I want the gargoyle's halberd or just the normal halberd. Weakness jumping off. I don't think we're gonna be that lucky, but that is good advice. There's my souls. We're gonna do a bit of a risky run. Just grab those first. Now, if we die, I got another chance to come get them back. Why are you unlocking on it?
that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So I'm not gonna waste another humanity. There wasn't anyone last time we were here. Um, I'll check one last time. This is a game where you can actually sort of farm humanity. In later Dark Souls games, you really kind of want to be careful. Um, but in Dark Souls 1, at least, you can kind of, kind of uh, be a little bit more spendy with it, because you can always farm it. I thought I saw Sunny Spot. I'm just going crazy. Oh well. No, no Sun Bros to help me out on this thing. That's okay. That's okay. Let's do cheeky this way. A little bit of a safer. Way. Hidden. That's okay. We still love you. We still love you. We're still friends. Okay. Ba -da, ba -da, ba. Okay. Yeah, I'm being reckless there. I should have gotten hit. I deserve to have gotten hit there, but I didn't. Just own that. Oh! Oh yeah! Forgot about Mr. Crossbow. Just be careful. I'll take you out and then go do it. I got the crossbow. Can you go down the slide? Wee! Oh no, you're gonna be stuck. I'll take you with me. Watch your stamina. You might be able to watch my stamina. You got your heal in. It's bad form still, but you got your heal in fair and square. I made a mistake too. Are you not you not here anymore? You don't know where stairs the boy went. Right, I'm gonna have to call it quits pretty soon, but we're gonna give this boss one more try. Um but don't beat him just uh, try again next stream.
got this one more try worth of time. Yeah, one more try. There's our souls. Let's grab this ladder. Crossbow over there. You guys can be Grandma Grandpa Crossbow. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Before the boss battle begins. Breath and into the fight. Yeah. Oh, the bugger. Let's take a look at that. That might be our first new weapon switch of the day. 3,000 souls. Yes. Okay. I did it. You did do it. We did it too. We did it too. Let's give you... Let's give you a bit of a rating. Nope. Wrong button. That one. Great message. I did it. Plus... The rating. Already rated. Yes. Yes, we did. We got our, our support of that person. They did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Find the bonfire. That's going to wrap up the screen. Dragon ahead. Yes, there is. There's a dragon ahead, but that's... That is going to be a problem for another stream. Oh yeah, we still got some stuff left. We got just a few things left to do. This guy right here. This glorious man. This man, the myth, the legend. Solaire of Astora. Praise the sun. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. Do you find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. I do have a moment, Solaire, for you. Anything. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. Yes, they do. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? Yes. It pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. <sighs> so, sign, white sign, that allows us to 
put our name down to be summoned to help other players when they need it. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds, and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> Praise the sun. Not what I meant to do, but... Oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. If only we all could be so grossly incandescent, Solaire. Oh, if only hello all... there. Only all of us. And then we could have jolly cooperation and the world would be a better place. Words to live by from that man right there. Words to live by. Anyway, I can run this way. There'll be a giant flame dragon and I'll die. Just do a little bit of a test spark, maybe. Yep, there he goes. Didn't die. But I am not going to try to do that run. It's locked. There another way. Like, there's got to be another way I can go. I'm trying to remember. Let's see. And that's where the Taurus demon was. Large soul of the undead. Dragon ahead. Yes, there is. Can I not go through this door? It's locked. Okay. I know of a safe spot, but I don't know if I can get there in time. However, we're going to try it. And probably be regret. It's probably the last thing that we try either way on the stream. But here we go. and dodge to the... We did it. We did it. We did it, we did it. I, this actually was very easy. Maybe it's just harder than I remember. There's an enemy around here. Is this the one? Nope. Nope, you have a friend. Friendship's nice, but... Not when it was an unexpected friendship. Sparta. Anyway. There's rats over there. I'm not sure if that's the way I'm supposed to go. I know there's a bonfire around here somewhere. Either that or I'm going, going insane. Here we go. Here we go. Kick the ladder. Down. Here we go. Slowly. Very slowly down the ladder. Roll into it. And here's our bonfire. Oh! I think here is a good place to end the stream. Start of next stream, I'll deal with my 9,990 souls. How to spend those, and kind of figure out what to do. And then we will continue from there. Let's move one second. I'd like to thank everyone who's watched this far just for being here and just kind of before I wrap up the stream I'm going to steal something again from Noctis who was in the chat earlier 
I want you to know that, you know, today is going to be a good day. It might be a bad day. I'm actually not going to guarantee that. But it's what you make out of it. As long as you can keep on going, you're going to have a good time. Or at least you can make have a good time later. I want to thank you all for joining my stream and just hope that, well, you can have a good rest of the day. You're always welcome back.